Revocation Radio, there you have it. Mr. Mike Summerlin, I hope that you are satisfied, my friend, as you get in and out of the truck today. You're working all over the place, taking care of business, a little bit of uh, silliness on a Friday morning. But we will get somewhat serious in this moment in time. Once again, Mr. Josh Wyatt hanging out with us and officially welcome to the show. Mr. Josh Lively. So we got Josh Squared here. What's going on, man? Doing good, man. How are you? Dude, I dig the glasses, the hat. The vibe Thanks, is good. Man. It's a good vibe. Yeah, you know, doing a, a morning show and leaving my home around 5 a.m. every day. Uh, you know, there are some times when I have more serious meetings and I have to fix my hair. But, yeah, all three of us got hats on today. It's, it's like a good hat day. Man, it's like bump that. It's Friday. <laughs> I, I don't want to get ready for nothing. Well, I lost my hairbrush. I woke uh, up this morning. I was like, Larry. Oh, where mm-hmm. is my hairbrush? Well, I know where you're going. That's <laughs> yeah. why I'm looking at you like It was this. crazy. You knew you're where I was going. You're wearing somewhat of a green today, so yes, there we go. Of, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm you are boy. a cucumber. Yes. Yeah, you, you feel like a cucumber today. <laughs> Silly songs with Larry. <laughs> with Josh Wyatt. Did, Josh you, uh, did you happen to get in any uh, any kind of pickle while you were driving on the road? Oh. Oh. oh, what? oh, oh that was yeah, wild. You're funny. welcome. That All was crazy. Yeah, we're moving on. Dad jokes. Dad puns. I am... Dad times three, so yeah, here we go. All right, so Mr. Josh Lively, Josh, kind of give us uh, a little bit of your background, uh, and we've talked about Josh Lively here before, even though he wasn't here uh, when, <laughs> oh, when Alex Gallion was uh, in the studio. Is that how you say his name? Gallion? Gallion okay, that's what yeah. I thought. I was making sure. Um, Alex was a, a big part of the first conference that Josh Wyatt did, and um, Josh Lively was leading worship. This is going to get uh, – that's why I was saying Wyatt and Lively yeah. earlier. It's like I've got a former intern, Zach, and I have a current intern, Zach, and sometimes former intern Zach will ride with me and come hang out on the show while current intern Zach is here. So we go last names. It's, like it's last names the whole show. And that's what's happening names. right now. Anyway, so Josh Lively, worship leader, uh, currently at the ramp, helping Alex Gallion with uh, the youth up there. Great things happening in Hamilton, Alabama, and um, possibly some some more growth yes. on campus, it looks like. But Lively, kind of give us a little bit of your story, man. You know, uh, where you come from. How has God just radically changed you, and, and yeah. how did you get into music, bro? Yeah, so I'm originally from the Carolinas, grew up in a small town called Latta, South Carolina. Um, a little, kind of a know-nothing town, not a whole lot going on there. And um, my parents, um, my parents actually divorced later on in life, um, grew up in a Christian home, um, more of like Christian assembly, assemblies of God kind of vibe. Grew up in that atmosphere, and then when I was about 10 years old, they divorced, and we kind of fell out of church, and during that time, um, really just kind of lived how I wanted to live, kind of did life and um, just had no satisfaction, was just really broken and lost, um, had a lot of a lot of fill in the blank stuff there. And when I was a freshman in high school, I got invited to come to church, um, got radically changed, went from being someone who just lived in a place of hate and brokenness to finding the love of a real father. Um, just be- growing up without my dad after that divorce just really left me broken without understanding what it meant to be loved by a dad. And having that transformation with God just showed me the love of a true father. And so I went on that whole journey of just really discovering the love of a father. Um, and through that time um, of just growing with the Lord, you know, being out of church for so long, I really, there was no Christianese. It was just like, I just knew that I wanted God. And so um, it kind of looked radical and crazy. I, back in that in that time, I had a huge mohawk and black hair and um, <laughs> times have changed for sure. Um, but I ended up picking up music through my youth group i wanted to play guitar and i didn't know how to play guitar and they knew i didn't know how to play guitar so nicely instead of letting me play guitar they said grab a mic and sing and oh thanks yeah thanks. yeah <laughs> which i was i was young so i didn't know that that's what they were doing and in that it was just crazy it was just really just divine appointment and during that that encounter um i ended up realizing that the lord had really placed a mandate on my life for music um, really didn't do anything music prior to being saved. And when wow. I got saved, I started doing BGVs, uh, which is background vocals, just singing for our youth group. And within a few months um, of just seeking the Lord and being diligent in that, I went from doing BGVs to uh, being one of our lead worship leaders for that youth group. Um, ended up playing guitar during that time, too. Um, and that's kind of where that journey began over the years um, throughout high school. I kind of did a lot of like youth lock-ins and youth revivals and kind of got my feet wet with that. Um, and you really just honestly had this moment with the Lord where I realized that the calling on my life was bigger than the town that I lived in. Amen. Um, and realized that it was bigger than uh, bigger than myself, but bigger than the, the, the borders of the Carolinas. And so 
Um, over time, I ended up moving to Alabama. I've been in Alabama for about two years now. Um, I've been in Tuscaloosa and Birmingham uh, a good bit, and I'm currently living in Hamilton at the ramp. Um, and just during that time, I ended up meeting Josh Wyatt, um, met him uh, through a mutual friend. Um, we were just going to a night of prayer and met him through that, and uh, kind of the rest is history with him. Um, we just got connected, and um, he took me to my first ramp conference, man, and it uh, it changed my life, to say the least, and um, really just... I don't know, it left this hunger in me to really want more of God. You know, I think with church, we have this idea that church is Wednesday and Sunday ministry, and, and it's and there's nothing wrong with that per se, but it left me unsatisfied because I would come Wednesdays and Sundays, and I would lead worship, and I would do those things, but there was just this longing for something more, and coming to the ramp, and there's other ministries that have, of course have that, but there's just something about the mandate on the ramp where they go after the more of God, and it led me on this pursuit to end up uh, going to RSM and um, now helping out with youth and just any capacity that they will allow me. Um, I've went to Ramp Ohio this year and got a chance to, to minister at Ramp Ohio, so the Lord's just um, the Lord's good. He's teaching me a lot. He's stretching me. He's growing me. But that's kind of a very quick overview of my life there and how I've kind of came into the to the Alabama area. Very cool. And uh, Josh is going to be playing some live music for us here in just a little bit. Uh, we'll get tuned up and all that good stuff. Kind of um, how would you describe I mean, Obviously, you lead worship. Uh, are you going to do – are you more worship style all the time? Do you have some more original – folksy bluesy stuff what kind of what direction do you like to go in um it varies um i don't like to put a box on creativity with the lord um there's a lot of music that i write that is more outside of the box um one of the ones that i'll play today is is more of an intimate worship kind of thing um and i'll get into more of that whenever i talk about it later um but some of it's jazz some of it's you know more bluesy some of it's more ccm more of your worship stuff um, but I don't like to put a box of creativity on anything. Um, I think um, just allowing the Lord to do something natural and just releasing it how it comes out. So I dig it. I dig it. If somebody wanted to find you online and go ahead and check everything out and follow you on social media, how do they do that? Yeah, um, you can just follow me at Lively Worship on Twitter and Instagram. That's going to be the Twitter and Instagram handle. Um, Joshua Lively on Facebook, uh, YouTube. Um, it's probably going to be under Joshua Lively or Lively Worship. I think it's under Lively Worship. Um, I have a single that I released a couple years ago on iTunes under Lively Worship. It's called Chain Breaker. Um, and that's really all that I have out currently. I'm currently working on a new song, but if they want to follow that way um, at Lively Worship or just follow me at Joshua Lively I'm on Facebook. There we go. Check it out. And uh, coming up next, we'll do some live tunes. It's the Morning Overload, Revocation Radio. Hey, it's John Walden. You have found the Friday edition of the Morning Overload. It's a beautiful day to have the Joshes. Hanging out in the studio this morning. Yeah. we got Josh Wyatt. We've got Josh Lively. And uh, I'm pretty excited because I'm not going to say I read his mail, but I could kind of tell the style. Uh, I don't know what it was. I was just feeling it. I was feeling about I think it's the glasses more than anything that puts you in that bluesy jazz <laughs> yeah. style that you were talking about because I love those glasses. They're um, almost Malcolm X glasses. They're pretty close. Tr- yeah. Tr- yeah, they're pretty yeah. daggum close. But I dig it, man. Like I had sunglasses like that when I was a teenager, and I just loved them. And then uh, somebody gave me some Oakleys, and so I just have kept those for a little, really long time because I broke the other ones. Anyway, that's a stupid conversation. We're here to talk about other great things and hear incredible music. So Lively is going to bring us a live track right now. It's a live track. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. What's, uh, what's the name of the song, and what's it all about, my man? Yeah, it's called Never Let You Go, and the song is just kind of a testimony about a season that I went through where, um, I don't know, I just had a lot of places in my life that, weren't really adding up. Um, I had a lot of promises from the Lord that I still didn't see. And I was like, okay, God, am I, am I missing you? Am I not hearing you right? And it was just really just a rough time in my life. And um, I found myself coming across a passage in John thirteen seven where it says, where Jesus is replying to Simon Peter, and he says, for now you do not know what I'm doing, but later you're, you're going to know. You're going to understand later. And that passage just resonated in my spirit. And the Lord just spoke to me through that, and he said, you know, I've given you my promises. I've given you my word. I just need you to trust me to know that I'm a faithful father, that that I'm not going to let you go, that I'm not going to fail you, and that everything that I have said will come to pass. And um, that that whole idea actually went into a, a song that I'd previously wrote called Promises. And um, just over the time of being at RSM, the Lord really um, kind of shifted my viewpoint on 
just my relationship with God in general because it was it was more of going from well God you've promised me this to well God you're a loving father and you're a faithful you're a faithful dad and you've never not promised me something and not fulfilled it and right. so through that the song kind of shifted and and, and changed a little bit lyrically um, to this this song that instead of because I think when we write music a lot of times we're writing music from our perspective to God. And while that's great and there's there's plenty of that and there's a place for it, this song is actually a reverse role. It's actually the Lord singing over us saying, look, I love you. I'm not ever going to let you go. I, I have these things planned for you in, in the season and in the moment and the season you're in right now doesn't make sense. It, it, it hurts, but it's through. And there's a lyric in the song that says, through the crushing and the pressing is at the pierce of the anointing. It's where the pierce of anointing flows. And that's just such a pivotal part of my life because there's going to be seasons that we go through and they're escapable where we're going to go through crushing and pressing and it's not always going to feel good, but it's all the Lord doing a work in us that's going to better us. It's going to bring something fresh out of us. And so through, long story short, that's kind of how the song came together. Um, when this song is, is sung, it's it's one of those things for me that it's not me singing this song. It's really what I hear the Lord singing over us as believers and as, as children of God. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah. Awesome. Josh Lively, it's called Never Let You Go. I'm not your thoughts And neither are your ways My ways Promises proceeding From my mouth Will never fade away For now you do not know what I am Doing, but later you will know. You will know. It's through the fire you're made stronger, and everything is working out for your good. For your good. It's through the pressing and the crushing that the purest of anointing starts to flow. And even in this very moment, I am faithful to uphold my every word. No, I will never let you go I will never let you go You're the lover of soul And I will never let you go And my thoughts and not your thoughts, and neither are my ways, your ways. Promises proceeding from my mouth will never fade away. For now you do not know what I am doing, but the fire you're made stronger and everything is working out for your good for your good to the pressing and the crushing that the purest of anointing starts to flow it starts to flow and even in this very moment, I am faithful to 
uphold my every word And I will never let you go I will never let you go My promises remain Never will they change Great is my faithfulness I will never let you go My promises remain Never will they change Great is my faithfulness I will never let you go My promises remain and never will they change Great is my faithfulness I will never let you go My promises remain And never will they change Great is my faithfulness I will never let you go I will never let you go I will never let you go Just let me have control I will never let you go Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, and let me stress very quickly how difficult it is, number one, to sing this early in the morning after not having done all the warm up stuff and everything like that. Uh, powerful dude. I want to hear you sing some like Stevie Ray Vaughan and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> I, I just want to hear it. I, ooh, mm. uh, that was so smooth. It, it's very difficult to, uh, to hit that yeah. this early in the morning and uh, on these radio microphones. But man, awesome job. Thank you. Again, Mr. Josh Lively, never let you go. More to come. It's the Morning Overload, Revocation Radio. And you heard those golden tones. Just a few moments ago, and I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty pumped to have him around because sometimes, you know, people are good on recordings and everything, and, and I haven't heard any of your recordings or, or whatnot, and I'd love to connect you with somebody yeah. that, that will take care of you, by the way. Um, but look, if you're looking for a worship leader, and uh, this is a good opportunity for Lively because, you know, he's um, he's saving up some funds to stay in, in the school of ministry, and that's a big deal. And so if you want to support that, and be a part of it, and bring him to your church for your event. That would be huge. Yes. So yes. let us know. Just text in 805 to text us. I'll get you connected. We'll uh, we'll make that happen. But look up Josh Lively or Lively Music on all the uh, social media platforms. But um, you did want to share a little bit more about uh, kind of the direction you're going and yeah. and and being booked for stuff. And uh, you know what's your availability. Uh, what all can you do? Yeah, yeah let, let's put all that out there. Let's just put the cards on the table, baby. For sure, for sure. So I finish uh, my first year at the Ramp School of Ministry May 4th. Um, after that, my summer um, is pretty much open to, to just go and minister, um, all with the uh, ambition to uh, raise up funds for this next year of school um, starting in August. So I kind of have you know, a little over two months to get ready for that. Um, looking you know just raising money for that and honestly just just advancing the kingdom man just being able to come and partner with what god is doing in, in the local churches in this area or any area for that matter <laughs> wherever you want me at i'll go you know right. um but really just just to advance the kingdom as far as music goes um i'm actually recording the song that i just played next wednesday awesome um, with a with a local recording um buddy of mine in hamilton alabama his name's micaiah um and I'm going to be getting with him Wednesday to record this song and put that out. Hopefully have that before um, I graduate um, <laughs> just nice. to get just to give it out there for people and just really to uh, spread that message of that song to people. Um, people need to hear that. And um, so honestly, just, you know, this summer's open to just be booked and to minister and to, um, I don't know, just spread the gospel, man, just to love on people. Um, I don't just play music. I also preach and things like that and speak uh, for events. Um Worship is ob obviously a forte of mine, but I love people. So any way that I can get connected and and love on people and just share the love of Jesus with them, I want to be able to do that. So, Amen. I'm excited about it, and uh, we're excited to get him plugged in to uh, some of the stuff we got coming up. We may 
We may be able to use you this summer for one thing specifically. We'll see where that goes. Sweet. If we can get it organized in time. You never know. So, again, uh, Josh Lively hanging out. Uh, any final words you guys want to throw out there? Wyatt, you got anything? Good. Thumbs up. Okay. No words whatsoever. Lively, anything else you want to promote, talk about? Uh, I think I'm good to go. Um, <laughs> I mean, I will I will put a plug for RSM uh, just because they have changed my life. Um, if you're a youth or even if you're not a youth and you just um, feel like you need some more building up and maybe even a season of restoration, uh, my first year at RSM has been a season of restoration for me. Um, so if you're wanting more of God um, and you're wanting to be in a place that can cultivate something new and something fresh in you, um, I would say definitely check out the Ramp School of Ministry. Um, it's a very simple process. Um, they're willing to ask, answer any questions for you. Um, but I will say that me being there for the nine months I've been there has drastically changed my life. I'm not the same person in, in a great way. Um, so, yeah, I just want to put a plug out there and just um, say thank you to Miss Karen Wheaton um, and Pastor Michael Wood. They have poured so much into me and invested into me, and I'm so thankful for them. So, Amen, yeah. amen. You were talking about that Christianese yeah, earlier. Yeah. It's like we learn the stuff and we get all the basics, but there's so there's so much more. So much more. That's yes. what uh, you get at the Ramp School of Ministry. So never have heard one bad thing yes. out of the Ramp in, in the years. You know, uh, my buddy Ronnie Bruce always, always promoting, and even when Damon was there, you know, playing Damon's messages and Karen's messages and Karen's music and uh, just so much incredible stuff happening at the ramp school of ministry and people from all over the south going at least once a month to check out what's going yes. down so it's beautiful beautiful josh awesome job man i see big things dude thank you so I much see big I'm, I'm really pumped so anyway all right coming up next we got the top five and i countdown for our man kip this morning it's a it's a freedom friday for him kip thank you for uh, for getting that in and we'll do that and more coming up next but seriously follow lively worship lively worship l-i-v-e-l-y lively worship on all social media keep up with this guy i'm telling you Please trust me when I say it. I don't say it about much. Trust me, okay? I just want you to do that. It's the Morning Overload, Revocation Radio.